Come in. So good evening, lads. Glenn, you've played with some great players during your career, including Ryan Giggs, Paul Gascoigne, Mark Hughes and Ian Rush, to name a few. But who is the best player you ever played against and why? Well, I, I get the, I've always changed, I change my answer. And as I'm doing some research, I change my answer as this goes along. There's always someone, and I've been lucky enough to play against some, some real, real good players. You know, playing internationally for uh, for 12 years, you know, against Brazil, Italy, and people like that. It was, oh. it was great. But I just want, in fact, it goes to my, my Man United team that, that was asked to put on earlier. I remember playing, yeah. against, I played playing against Knott's Forest right when we first got up into the top division. And Viv Anderson, no, we actually was in the second division. We played him in the cup. And Viv Anderson was playing right back, uh, and, and I'm playing left wing, and he kept overlapping, and he could run, and I, my, that wasn't really my my forte running, and he kept going, and he kept going. I had the most miserable night chasing him. In fact, one bit I just decided to trip him up. I just tripped him up, but I didn't. Couldn't be <laughs> <laughs> That's the Wimbledon in you, Glenn. Yeah, exactly. The Brian Clough come out and give me one of them. Give me the fist. Uh, it was right in front of him. But it was, you know, from that, I'm thinking, you know, we've gone up the levels and we think, oh, you know, you tried and tested, thinking it's not bad, not bad here. Yeah, this is all right. We can cope with this. And all of a sudden you've got Viv going boom, boom, boom. Yeah. So that, that from the very early, 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 uh, early part of that top flight, thinking, wow, you know, you've got to do some work here to, you've got to do a bit more work. You know, you, you've got to, to keep compete with the levels that he showed and the fitness and the athleticism he had. He was magnificent. But I mean, that team under Cluffy was something else, wasn't it? Like, yeah. they took the big, great teams in English football, like the Brian Clough era at Forest has to go down as one of the biggest, doesn't it? Well, yeah, we, we played them in 85 and 86, and we knocked them, we knocked them out in the League Cup, we knocked them out in the FA Cup, both both two legs. Well, the FA Cup was nice. and the and the, uh, the old Milk Cup as well. So, and we we're playing against that team, you know, that, that team that he had. And, uh, and we, we, in fact, I scored, I scored, uh, scored against them, scored the winner at home when we knocked them out of the Milk Cup. So they were tight, you know, we, they, it was great. That, that was exactly what it was on about. You, you, you know, you weren't overawed. You're playing against this team, and most of them have won European Cup, and you've got a manager there who's, you know, who's been lauded and quite rightly. And, and, and then there's yeah. little old Wimbledon, the Bass Street kids turning up and, you know, thinking, you know, what are we doing on the same, same, same plateau, same, same, you know, same uh, planet as them? Yeah, we, we, we turned them over. So. So were you were you part of the Wimbledon team then that um, famously when Cluffy strutted into the dressing room to yeah. take your ghetto blaster down to yeah. take it off? Like were you part yeah. of that? Yeah. What was that yeah. like from that side? Well, the, the ghetto blaster was a good one because uh, the, 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 everyone's got them now. Everyone's got them now. Yeah. And we we started off. We was the first team to do that, and it was that. I take you back to that, that Anfield game, that Liverpool when we beat them two one when Dalglish was playing and Rushy and, and Hanson and Lawrence and. And everyone was playing, and then we we what we did was we stayed up. We went up to North Wales, and we stayed uh, stayed in like an army barracks sort of stuff, just doing a bit of training. So when when we stayed up, we had to get the coach to the to the to Anfield. Then the Anfield, the coach who took us to Anfield wasn't the coach to take us back. We had our own coach to go back, so we had to take everything off the bus. So everything off the bus come into the dressing room, and then there's the ghetto blaster on the side. So we won the game. Come in, I don't know who it was. Someone pushed play. And that was it. The volume was up. The dressing room was rocking. And I mean, you know, I don't know what the boot room thought of the noise, but you could hear it for miles. And it must have thought that was it. That was the first one thinking, oh, we're having this. So every game after that, we took it in. Now, Brilliant. What, what, I mean, there's a, there's a, the story's the story's been exaggerated a little bit. My memory of it was uh, we had we, we got the ghetto blaster in the dressing room. We had an extension lead that was outside. We took it outside the dressing room into the into the electric on the, in the in the in the corridor in, inside the the tunnel and Brian Clough's come and banged on the door and told us to turn it down which you can imagine that you imagine the response he got so but told to no, no way thank you very much Mr Clough away you go yeah you know, in those words he, yeah yeah so he's walked out and then he's uh he, he's unplugged the extension in and nicked the extension lead so we've got he's, he's done this we've got no music so did it, so we've got no 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 electricity so we sent the kit man out over to the garage to get the big massive batteries and then we <laughs> And we got it up even louder, and he couldn't get hold of the batteries because the door was shut. So, uh, <laughs> you know, but he did try and get it turned off, but luckily it took a battery, and uh, you know we overcome that. But there is things that I think that I think they've been exaggerated. He picked it up and threw it in a bath, or did this and that. It was it was just purely the electric and the battery, and we uh, we solved that problem.